I'm Ariane Belazaire. I'm here in the John Richards showroom and I am here with two San Francisco based design powerhouses. First we've got Scott Meacham Wood, Mr. Target. Thank you. I, I, I answer to that. <laughs> uh, yes. And then we've got Catherine and Justine with Catherine, Catherine McPhee, interior design. Did I get it right? You got you it. Did? Perfect. Yeah. Oh, I'm so grateful. Right. Okay, so. And done. And <laughs> cut. <laughs> so we're going to talk, just we're going to have a fun design conversation. I want to know first. If you had to describe your design aesthetic, I, I have no idea what no, you're going to no, say. No, 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 no idea what you're going to say. Mid-century yeah. modern, clearly. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Ultra modern. Yeah. But your design aesthetic, how you interpret your spaces and infuse a little bit of yourself, or do you just go in and say whatever the client wants, I basically do for them, and I don't leave a footprint. So I'll go with you first. Because I think you have a very easily identifiable aesthetic, but you may have a different approach with your design. Yeah, there, I mean, there's the aesthetic that I that that I do. Yes. That's my that's my house. It's my personal aesthetic, which is tends to be fairly European. Mm -hmm. uh, my family is Scottish, so that uh, plays into plays into a lot of it. I actually grew up in the American South, so Where? in Mississippi, <gasps> Louisiana. Oh yeah, Stop we're probably sure. <laughs> uh, we probably, probably, probably have friends together. Yes. So, so but there's something yeah. about that sense of American hospitality that's mm -hmm. so so pervasive in the South. Yes. So I I love doing like a great dining room. Mm -hmm. That those all those those places where we gather and, mm -hmm. and where where friends and family come to, come yes. together. I, I'm fascinated with those kind of spaces. Yeah. But as far as when I get to work for clients, like it at the end of the day, like I'm gonna take pretty pictures and yes. get in the car and drive away, and come back in a year and bang new pillows. Yes. But it's really their house. That's right. So it's a long, arduous at times discussion about how they live, what they need to do, what all what all the house needs to do for them. Mm -hmm. um, and it's my job to take whatever their idea is yes. and make just a fantastic version of it. That's right. It's kind of more than they knew they could ask for. That's that's, no, that's, that's great. That's, 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 that's what like I hope the goal. to do. That's I the hope, goal. I think I if everyone so. you asked that question, we would all come back to that. So tell me what, how you would describe your aesthetic. Same. 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 <laughs> yeah. So what I love is that your mother-daughter team, which I yeah. think is amazing and fascinating, but do you feel like you have the same style? Do you feel like you've derived yourself from her? Or do you have a different, a little different twist on it? Tell me about how you work. We're pretty much all over Northern California. Okay. So we kind of started, or really the business started thriving in more the resort fields. Mm -hmm. We do a lot of second, third homes. Mm -hmm. And that has led back to primary residence. Okay. So we're Northern California, that may go in the city, that may go Napa, mm -hmm. but a lot of work up in Lake Tahoe. Mm -hmm. So, but the basic aesthetic of that is usually pretty simple, yes. and then adding in whatever texture or gearing Wait. towards the client's needs, mm -hmm. families, and whatnot. Mm -hmm. and it, There's always really beautiful silhouettes in your projects. Mm -hmm. It feels very sculptural yeah. and very intentional yeah. whenever I see some of you whenever I see your work that's, that's one thing that always kind of calls out to me thank you I mean we really take a passion in custom work mm -hmm. and custom design and making each piece unique to a space mm -hmm. um, I love being in a space and you can every piece stands on its own so right. you can kind of take it out and go oh it's a little show piece on its own right. Mm -hmm. right and I think our aesthetic is you know I'm the old lady this is my oh, daughter here <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's at least put old lady in quotes yes exactly if not and italicized <laughs> A different font. <laughs> you are the furthest Asterisk. old lady I have ever seen. Yes. It's true. It's true. But we have, through the years, I mean, Justine's been um, with us well, since she was teeny tiny, yes. but really doing design work for the last 10. And then wow. in the last five years, taking on her own, I'll let you speak here too, but taking on, <laughs> her, own, you know, well, <laughs> taking on her own projects. And I think it's been great for the firm because we can bring in pretty much anyone from a Silicon Valley, dot mm -hmm. com, young mm -hmm. family to a very affluent right. kind of, you know, and we divide them. And so they kind of, we interview them and kind of see what their personalities mm -hmm. are. And it yeah. just, it kind of naturally flows one way or another. So yeah. Yeah. we've got two tools. Good. Long test. Well, it's been fun. So I mean, I grew up in the industry too. Yes. Like, so watching kind of mom's design. So you had the question about kind of what's, you know, how's, has our aesthetic kind of changed? And mm -hmm. I think it's always kind of challenging mountain design mm -hmm. has been kind of one of my, like, passions has been to figure out, okay, how do we make this, in, you know, inspiring for all markets, right. not just the Tahoe feel, right. and so, and kind of redefining what Tahoe style is, has kind of been my focus for the Good. past, you know, coming into your firm and, yeah. you know, making that work, so. And we've t really taken a lot of time, I love traveling, and of course, look, this one along, and her <laughs> sister, so we, we have a chance to go, we've been to Europe a few times, and up, you know, skiing in the Alps, mm -hmm. and skiing in the French Alps, and mm -hmm. the Italian Alps, and so, so many influences from Europe 
coming in as well. Yeah. So yes. That's where our brands kind of cross. There we go. Yeah. 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 I mean, the, 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 that, yeah. I think, you know, whenever you can bring your own, you bring so much of, of a family's heritage to their mm -hmm. home. Mm -hmm. To be able to bring, to bring your own as a designer is just mm -hmm. a, another way of reflecting that. I think it's really kind yes. of fascinating. Mm -hmm. And don't you feel that because you have such a strong aesthetic, both of you in different ways, at the end of the day, the client is coming to you because they like your aesthetic. So no one would come to you and say, okay, just, we're going just all no target. Target. We're going all <laughs> target. All Whatever you do, yeah. no all target. target. Right. They would and, come but, to but, you. But I, and I do, I do, lots of my projects have no target in them. That's, right. That's, that's kind of my shtick. Yes. But it not, it's not our firm's right. calling card. Right. But they come to you because they appreciate your aesthetic. And even though it may translate in a different way in their particular home based on their right. needs and their story, they so, like So that and that kind of English, Scottish ancestral thing of just layers on layers yes. and layers and really lots of depth and color and pattern. We may do that in a in a palette that's, you know, this wide yeah. but still has all that depth and texture yes. to it. Yes. That doesn't have to have all the things that may personally call out to me as that's an individual. Right. That's right. Um, so I think that's how I translate kind of my personal look into my clients' projects. That's great. That's great. And you would agree that you feel like you can Same always thing. translate. Same thing. You know, you're, just, you're the best. She's like, this is well, the we, easiest we interview <laughs> ever. <laughs> we did the Napa Showcase House yes. together. Oh, yeah, the yeah. Yes. Did a room. So I got to see fun. that. Oh, nice. Yes, awesome. I got to see that. So they were the kitchen. The marvelous ah. kitchen. And then the um, out in the at the cheese bar, the, the dark and stormy study yes. with all the 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 oh. colon signs yes. on the yes. wallpaper. That was my room. Nice. So there's that connection, and that's fun too because those to me the show houses is where you can kind of push the envelope and say if it was just my space and I had you know all the resources available to me, right. how would and, I interpret? And it, space? it you you can sometimes step away from pure function yes because it you know if, if, there's, if there's like a path through it it's good it's <laughs> yes. good to be able to get well, around actually yeah. if you can peek in and hold up your phone to take a shot it's good. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to get into the space as long as you can photograph it for instagram it's yeah. all good, and good. Then, but that, that house ran really smoothly it yeah like it just it's it was great. it's great yeah. I had a good time. Yeah. It was great. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it was a winery, so it was a very relaxed environment, mm -hmm. and, the, and the client itself, or the homeowner, she was just she yes. was fabulous. It was so encouraging. Good. So. And at the end of the road, before you got on the freeway, there was an In-N-Out Burger. <laughs> and that's and, it. And I was like, and, and done. then done. <laughs> and I'll going to Napa, right going world. to In-N-Out. <laughs> Going to, right. the, going to check on the showcase. Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. Right. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> so you talked about obviously your influences, travel being one of the big influences for you. You grew up in the industry. Like, is it something that you ever resisted going? Okay. Oh yeah. I just actually oh, yeah. don't want to do that. Oh yeah. Or were you just always going? Oh, I don't know if I'm going to do that. It was finally in high school I realized I wasn't going to play professional basketball or water polo, and I was oh. like, hey, figure this out. Okay, I'm gonna. I definitely wanted to go to art school. Mm -hmm. You know. And, study design and so I, I was like all right so I twist my arm work for mom yes <laughs> but I, always every summer we would kind of intern and I had friends that would work for her and so it was kind of a, a club was so summer I, mean, I actually have a question did it feel like a long-term decision when you did it was it like I'm gonna go into from for mom this summer because it's a summer job and it's mm -hmm. here did it I've always, I think I've always just felt so connected to it. Because right. even just when you opened your first store, I remember like driving and, and brainstorming ideas for the store name and mm -hmm. what that's going to be. And so mm -hmm. I think I've, it's always yeah. been a part of my plan, but I think without really knowing it was. Right. And yeah. one of the reasons why we went to Lake Tahoe or the Tahoe region too, is like, where does our family like to hang out? What do yes. we like to do? So, mm -hmm. and then we had a retail yeah. store, so the girls would work in the retail store. Mm -hmm. Summer's in the summer. summer yeah. mm -hmm. been Lake Tahoe. Training's like the best of all <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Well, that, that, yeah. But it's, it's good when you can be intentional about those decisions. That's right. Exactly. That's right. So, and, but it worked. It worked for the family and when they were little. And, oh yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. So when did you, you, did you just arrive at market? Have you been exploring? Have you seen kind of what's out there a little bit? If so, what, are you, what did you see that really excited you or that you feel like is really indicative of what's happening in the future? I hate to say trends, but just kind of what's coming. I like, the, the, I like the phrase like on trend, yeah. which feels more, more yes. in, again, more intentional. Mm -hmm. um, and maybe it's my, again, it may be my Southern upbringing, um, but I love a lot of detail mm. and we, Kind of when for me, it's like we moved away from that. It got yeah. very, it got very stripped down, mm -hmm. and I'm seeing just a lot more, um, like beautiful trims and reverse mm -hmm. details. Mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. Something you can look at and it's beautiful, and yes. you're like, oh my god, that's fantastic. And you get closer to it, and it it's becomes more fantastic. Right. There's some little piece of it that you really couldn't see from across the room. Yes. 
So there's you know little little gems, little Easter eggs mm -hmm. hidden in some of the pieces I like that. that feel. Maybe that, <laughs> our clients want that more though too. And, really and like people did it for years. Mm -hmm. Like you like, could you could barely get a trim on a pillow. Right. Yeah. <laughs> and, and now like there's hundreds like, of them. Simplify, simplify. Like no more simplify. Right. Right. Yeah. right. More, like more. Yes. I'm, I'm more is more, but like a little yes. more drizzle on top with some yes. more on the side. Yeah. Yes. Um, and what I'm seeing is color. Yes. 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 So, yes. so refreshing. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm -hmm. There's people are craving color, which is good. It's exciting. It is. And um, I think there's so many opportunities with that. And to your point of the detail, I think if we can focus on things like that, that's how we can continue to build value in the industry. With people being able to have access to things that when maybe you started or in your store, you were the only one to have access to. Now they can go online and find it anywhere. Being able to connect them to things that are exclusive or customizable, customizable pieces you that you can so put the huge. details on. Yes. Right. That's a part of a larger picture and helping the, the client understand how that tells the story. I think and that's it, important. It gives us as, as designers something that only we can bring that's to our right. clients. That's they, right. They can't find it in the middle of the night on no. the interweb no. surfing around. No. Like, oh, only, I like that you said interweb. <laughs> on the old, the old, the old, the old, the old interweb. <laughs> On the line, I like the, that. On the world wide web. On the world wide web. Um, so, so, and I like that. I like that we're all able to do that. There, yes, the, yeah. That we have access to product and ideas and customization yeah. options that you just that you can't find anywhere else unless you go into unless you contact yes. someone in the, in the trade. Yes. And when you work with a client and they see that the level of detail that you're willing to put forth in a pillow or you know a sofa or a chair. It really makes them understand and appreciate your value and the time you're taking that they don't have to spend. Right. They had to figure out how to do that mm -hmm. and achieve the same look. It would take them either forever, forever. or never. Right. Right. <laughs> right. Right. Those are the two options. Exactly. So I think that those are things that build value. So um, as you look at kind of what's coming um, as far as our industry, whether it's the way we work with our clients or the types of products that you'll see at markets, is there anything that you think, you know, if you had to make a prediction? I'm going to put you on the spot because you had a very easy time this interview. <laughs> so, well. so what, if you could predict five years out, you're, you're flying into market, what are you going to see in five years at market? I think it's going to focus on kind of more about like the, the, everything that's going on with the makers movement mm -hmm. of like crafts, you know, going back to just some original like, um, you know, artists yes. being incorporated more or like craftsmanship and detailing and. I think just kind of being more of you know one of a kind pieces or more unique kind of styles. Yes. Just totally I mean, we're really only a hundred years ahead of the original arts and crafts movement right. from right. the early 1900s, which, right. was, which was in response to all of that you know kind of prefabricated furniture. Mm -hmm. So I think I think that so that like wheel of fortune is spun yes. back around again. Right. Right. Seeing back great the appreciation, seeing more detail. detail. Yes, and, and, and things feel mm -hmm. hewn and wrought mm -hmm. yes. and not pressed. Yes. Right. Yes. Beautiful finishes. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you would agree in five years, that's what you think. Percent. I mean, I guess that's my passion is finding those little artisans that can do yes. those things. Mm -hmm. And I think that's where our design stands out, too, mm -hmm. is just for that craftsmanship. And so I, I love seeing that. I think texture, too, is a huge, like, you know, it's just between textures of, like, both fabrics and furniture. Yes. Of, of playing, I'm seeing so much more kind of better textures happening, yes. which I think is exciting. And I think people are open to, like, when did fur become, like, a thing in everyone's yes. home? Like, yes. it was just a mountain thing, and now it's, like, everyone has Everyone, fur. yes, it's everyone It's kind of fur. funny. It's, like, so, or faux fur. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, textures. That's true. But along with the, along with that, like the advances in technology, so that the mm -hmm. faux furs are marvelous. Yes. yes. That yes. you can find an indoor fabric that you can hose off in the yard. That's right. That you can still make a ball gown out of. Yes. It's not, yes. you know, yes. that just a body abrasive yes. nonsense from 20 years ago. That's right. So I think, you know, along with, you know, mm -hmm. I think we can marry the advances in technology, both in fabric and in just the interweb technology, <laughs> um, with, <laughs> with, <laughs> with, 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 we're all Has, call hashtag it that. Hashtag, <laughs> hashtag interwebs. Um, but you know, attach that with all this great um, yes. personalized construction. I agree. Um, I agree. So things feel a little a little sturdier at times. Yeah, yeah. I, I, when you said that, I was actually thinking the same thing. That technology is going to change the iteration of some of the textures that we see applied to not only fabrics and materials, but also in the way that our frames are presented or the way that a chair is designed. So that's going to be exciting to see um, because I think that that's an opportunity 
for us to be actually leaders in that uh, in that right, least, growth and development. And if not leaders, at least at least pushing it forward. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If we can't lead, we can at least push. Yes, right. that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Wow. Well, thank you so much for oh, taking thank you. Thank you. This was so much fun. And we didn't even swear. We did <laughs> swear. You're, we and didn't no, have a blast of wind. I don't know if either of us flashed anyone. Well, yes. My modesty is intact. That's great. Look, yes. both of us. Yay. Yes. Yeah, but there's four people outside when the wind blew. I, just, I know. I thought like, about that, too. I was like, sorry, y'all. That's oh, just, that's what it is. You're welcome. Yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> well, thank you so much for taking time. I know you guys are very busy. You have a lot you want to see. Oh. But I appreciate the time to chat. And I hope that you guys do, too. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>